Hi, my name is Kevin Keenan from the Coric Group and what I'm going to do is just go through a small few uh, hints and tips within the Trimble Access software in particularly General Survey. So I've already my Trimble Access open, I'm going to go direct into my General Survey and in there you see currently I have um, a job open, okay? so usually when you have your Trimble Access open it directly connects you to your receiver so you can see here that I'm using my R10 but if you ever go over to the right hand side and actually select your R10 receiver there's actually um, icons in here like quick click icons to start up so in here it'll bring me directly into my Bluetooth so you can see here that if your receiver wasn't even connected you could tap in that screen and select your rover here from the drop down list or your base. If I escape out of here I can also connect my radio so I can tip in my radio here and you see that I'm connected to my radio and it's internal um, in my receiver. So I can also hit collect, connect in here. I can also escape in here and um, start my survey. So if I click start survey I'm going to click uh, an RTK survey it's going to open up my um, reliability 100% I'm going to accept that and it'll instantly start my survey and it'll bring me into my topo screen so if uh, you connect it here from here it'll bring you back into this GNS function and from here I can just go and go into an instant position so I can it'll show you a live position using learning elevation for this um, example I'm using the emulator okay but it'll give you a live feed in here and you can change your um, settings in there you can change your height and then the antenna so if I select in there again it brings me back into that screen and I can actually end the survey as well so I can click on end and it instantly ends the survey instead of ha having to exit the program also um, a quick little tip is if you tap into the receiver itself you can change the height here or change the measure to so you can bottom a quick release for your R10 or different um, settings from your R10 you also escape out of here and escape out of the screen you can bring it back into the main screen and from there you can click an instrument and if I hit next here it'll also bring me into that same page so instead of selecting receiver it'll also be there as well in my instrument settings and from there I can go into position again um, and select press ok and it'll give me a live reading if I'm in um, the field ok I also at the bottom of that screen it'll give me my base and it'll tell me what base I'm actually connected to. So for this example, I'm still connected to my emulator and it's just called Trimble, okay? So if I go out of that screen, I'm back into my main screen here again, and in here, on my right-hand side, I can go straight into Map, and it'll show me my main Map screen, so you can see all the data that are connected here. But you notice that that main uh, little screen here will show my R10 is, is gone. So if I click on that button, it'll pop up the screen but after a number of seconds it'll pop away again so that's called widescreen so if I hold down on the screen you see that this is selected in widescreen so I just held down on the screen and if I untick that now my uh, main screen is back and this is quite handy if you hit um, the likes of menu it'll bring me back to the main screen or click map it brings me back to the map but I also go into favorites here I can add to the favorites so if I select in there I can uh, click in and add um, certain features to the favorites. I can go in there and customize my favorites as well. So I can sign, assign commands to different keys if I was using, for example, the Yuma tablet or the Kenai tablet. I can also tap into favorites here and go straight into measure points and that'll bring me straight into my measure point screen. Okay, so also with the switch to, I can switch to different panes of screen that I've also all open but on the map screen all the time I also have um, options so there's just quick uh, tips and hints uh, hidden within access that might become useful for you in live in the field okay thank you